Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm just coming back at you to shoot a uh, quick video um, on this uh, this Thursday here in the STL. Um, it's kind of a dreary day, but uh, you know, nevertheless, um, it's going to be a great day. Um, I'm actually enjoying the weather right now. Um, it looks like it's going to rain, but as far as the temperature, I'm enjoying the temperature right now. So um, I wanted to really challenge you because that's something that's like really been on my mind and I, I want to I wanna address it. And uh, let me preface my comments. I want to ask you a question. My question is... Are you chasing money? And let me be clear. There are too many people chasing money. There are too many people chasing money and not chasing their dream. There are too many people chasing money, but not, but not uh, building their passion. There are too many people chasing money, but they're not, um, they're not helping others um, lock into or unlock their passion. Because something that I've, there are three things that I've discovered, you know, when you don't chase money. And let me share them with you. Number one, when you don't chase money, money will find you. And I know that's different from what we're accustomed to when, you know, we work a job. But if you have, a mindset where you want to get paid what you're worth. You don't necessarily have to go chase money. Okay? If you help... An, uh, let me get to number two. If you help enough people get what they want, you know, that will the money will find you. The money will find you. So, let, let's recap this. Number one... When you don't chase money, money will find you. And then in order for the money to find you, you have to help enough people get what they want. Meaning, you have to help enough people find their passion. You have to help enough people unlock their passion. And that's going to require you not looking at them as a dollar sign. You know, it, it, it's not rocket science. You have to have this, you have to have this understood that people are tired of being looked at as dollar signs. People are being tired of, of being treated and uh, used like dollar signs, like commissions. They're tired of it. People are burnt out on it. And if it sounds like I'm a little annoyed by it, you know, because I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing it. And, you know, it needs to be addressed. And so, you have to provide value. You have to be able, you have to be able to help others get what they want. And then number three, and more importantly, money has to be secondary. It cannot be your primary reason for doing things. Why you want to do this? Because I want to be rich. That's not enough. What are you going to do with the money? You know, how are you going to make the money work for you once you get it? People don't ask those type of questions. You know, and, and, and a lot of times they don't even think like that. It never dawns on them that, yeah, to get the money is one thing, but to sustain the money and, make, and then make the money work for you. You know, so I always think about um, the, 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 uh, the cash flow quadrant that uh, Robert Kiyosaki came up with. You know how on the left hand side you have employees and you have those that are self-employed. And then you have, and then on the right side, you have um, those that you know buy into like a system, and then you have 
uh, those that, you know, become investors. You know, the majority of people are on the left-hand side. And what I'm seeing is that a lot of people are just satisfied with being on the left-hand side, but then, they're, but then they wonder why money doesn't work for them. Because when money does not work for them, the reason that money does work for them is that because they're on the wrong side. You have to get on the right side of that quadrant in order for money to start working for you. The left-hand side, you work for your money. The right-hand side, money starts working for you. So, I challenge you to stop chasing money. But do the three things that I shared. And watch how your finances um, start building. Watch, out, watch how you're able to you know, be, be a blessing to others. Just watch and see what happens. But you have to make a decision. And so for those of you who believe in the importance of providing value to people and not treating people like a dollar sign, but actually looking at people, you know, as human beings, helping them unlock their passion, helping them learn how to turn their passion into profits, then I challenge you to connect with me. I challenge you to reach out to me. I challenge you to click the link below this video and and help them do that. Because when you do it, when you plant that seed, you will reap the harvest in due season, but you have to make the decision to do so. You know, so click the link below and we'll see you on the other side. Peace.